people trade in their iPhones for a BlackBerry. I don't need to do that. I have one. I have two, as a matter of fact, right now. So go to CNBC.com right now, and you can take our poll and tell us which smartphone you prefer right now. Is it the iPhone? Is it the BlackBerry? Is it the Android, by the way? And people are already tweeting, what about the Windows phone? Neither one of those are part of the trade-in offer. But we're joined now by Ari Zoldan of Quantum Networks and Chris Siaccia from the street to talk about whether this strategy is going to pay off. Ari, smart move by BlackBerry. How much uh, do you think they're going to get this change over crowd for 550 bucks look they don't need to get a lot of the crowd but even a fraction of it it's a, again the smartphone market we know is a massive market and i've always said and i maintain my position is that you don't need to be the biggest in the space you just need to be the best and the most profitable you know chris i i'm i'm not uh, blind i realize you know everybody loves the iphone they love the android for various reasons there were a lot of blunders in the past by blackberry they lost their cachet they lost their market share do you think they can make a comeback as John Chen is, uh, is promising here? They're not going to make a comeback where it actually really materially matters to either Apple or the Android ecosystem. Apple's projected to sell over 70 million iPhones in the December quarter. BlackBerry would be ecstatic if it sold 7 million. It's a no contest. But yeah, I, I, I disagree. Yeah, I completely I, disagree. It's going back to my comment of, again, especially in the smartphone market, you don't need to be the biggest, you need to be the best. And also focusing on a vertical like enterprise or security. And I think, look, you don't have one, you actually, as you said, you have two of them <laughs> because you miss that QWERTY keyboard if it goes away. Exactly. I mean, that's the whole thing for me. If somebody else will make a, a decent physical keyboard, I don't need this virtual keyboard nonsense. Right. I will, I will consider and, buying that. And you always hear that. People miss the keyboard. They miss the keyboard. They miss Can't the keyboard. There you go. <laughs> but, but that's why, Chris, what about this point, which is not that BlackBerry has to take over or even, you know, seriously diminish uh, the others, its rivals at this point. It just has to become profitable by itself with these devices, take a little bit of share. Um, is that not enough of a case to, to invest in the company here? I'd say the, the run-up that we've seen in 2014, you know, that's kind of already baked into the stock. So I really can't see BlackBerry, you know, really taking any kind of meaningful market share. I mean, 2 million phones is a nice little niche number, but it's not going to be, you know, a material mover to the stock in 24, the rest of 2014 and 2015. You're not going to leave the Apple or Android ecosystem just because John Chen's going to throw $550 at you. It's no, but, but, but it's beyond that. It's about the security, I think. They're also holding IP. And again, it's a QWERTY keyboard. I think, I think you're going to see it as a comeback. Case. John Chen has threatened in the past to abandon the consumer altogether and go as a business to business uh, enterprise. And it's it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. I think there's some real meat well, over what, there. What happens to my BlackBerry? Well, they're going to make an exception for you, Bill, and also yeah. for well, you, Kelly. back next month. We know they're, they're going to launch, I think, on the, December the, 17th. Yeah, the M Classic. The, 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 yeah, classic. <laughs> the classic and the, and the Passport. I think it's going to do well also. The Passport was... Uh, uh, has, has not gone anywhere. I've got a Q10. That was a disaster. Yeah. I mean, that, that did nothing, but I love this uh, thing, you know. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a decent phone. Try it. I feel like I'm on Dancing with the Stars. Just feel like Vote for BlackBerry, <laughs> folks. You know, but it's going to make a comeback at right some now, point. Take a look at our screens. 44% say iPhone, 40% no say Android. Less than 20% are saying BlackBerry. And the run-up in the shares this year does have a lot of optimism already priced into it. So make the case for BlackBerry being able to take another leg up here. Uh, for those who are looking at it for 2015. It's niche. It's all about the niche. And I think what you mentioned before, I think it's about it's about government, it's about business to business and focusing on two or three verticals. You don't we don't backward doesn't need to be a seven hundred billion dollar market cap cap company. It never will. And there's it's okay to be number two or number three in the space. Chris, I realize this is an unscientific poll. People are choosing to vote. It's not the other way around. But what about the the, the, the percentage that Android is garnering? Is that something that Apple should worry about down the road, do you think? No, because Apple's never been about being being the biggest player in any space. It was never the biggest player in the PC market with the Mac. It's not the biggest player in the mobile phone market with the iPhone. It's about being the most profitable. And with the IBM deal that they announced a few months ago, that only helps them with the enterprise too. So it speaks to, you know, going after BlackBerry in the enterprise market. So if they can get a, any kind of meaningful market share in the enterprise, it's all gravy for Apple. Okay. And uh, Ari, so okay, yes. seventeen percent, eighteen percent are voting for BlackBerry. Is is that a that's that's about what John Shen is expecting then? I guess.
success at this point. He's right, right on target. Is that what you're talking yeah, about, too? Yeah, he's right on That's target. That's the kind of market share you need, then. And I'm sure what the street will be happy as soon as, as long as he manages the expectation and he hits it on target, and I think he will. All right. There we are. 45% voting for the iPhone, 38% Android, and 17% of you fine people out there. <laughs> I think it's all Bill voting from his desk. Voting <laughs> I was doing it with my foot. Thank, Thank you both, you guys. guys. Happy really. Thanksgiving.